Police in Italy believe traffickers made some $3 million from the latest cargo ship found abandoned in the Mediterranean. The little bit was carrying 359 illegal migrants, most of them from Syria. It's the second freighter to be left at sea in a week. Earlier, the Blue Sky M carrying 796 migrants was left without a crew and on a collision course with the Italian coast. Police there steered the vessel into the Italian port of Gallipoli, where resident Tommaso Tomaiolo came into contact with the refugees, and he's been telling me a bit more. The 31 of December, early in the morning, I went to Gallipoli around 8 uh, a.m. to know if there is something I can do, something I can help. So I, I, you know, I have uh, on my hands uh, my mobile phone, and one man, one man of these uh, migrants talked to me and asked me if uh, he can make a call from my, my mobile phone. And after that, uh, I asked this uh, man if I can make a little video of him. And he said, okay. So I turned off uh, the camera on my, of my mobile phone and he started to speak uh, uh, in, in Arabic language that I don't recognize. After we talk for a few, uh, for a, about a minute, I make him just three simple questions. Of course, you can think it's a, an emotional uh, moment for me, so uh, I just ask if how many people are on, the, are on the boat, and he said to me that there was uh, 700 people. And uh, I asked him uh, uh, if anybody was dead on the boat, and he, he told me, that no one was dead on the boat. He said that no one controlled the boat on the Greek coast. And um, I went home where I put this video on the YouTube channel. What, when you were speaking to the migrants, what were they telling you? Did they tell you anything about, say, how much they had to pay to get to Italy? Yes, yes. He told me, this, uh, this man that uh, I call S, uh, tell me he paid about uh, 7,000 uh, euro uh, for him and 7,000 euro for his wife. And he told me also that his wife is pregnant. He told me that pay this money to Turkish Mafia. And uh, he also told me that he start from the harbor of Mersin around uh, 30 days ago. So maybe around 21, 22 of December. He also told me about a little boat before he goes on the blue sky. But before it arrived in the harbor of Gallipoli, uh, we had a, a, a six hours to organize. So 48 hours later, he's docked. He just not in Italy. He, he, he told me through WhatsApp. And is that the same story for everyone else on, on the boat? Are, are most people trying to, to go somewhere else? All these guys are from Syria. And of course, there is the war in Syria. So. They have, they, uh, they have two chance. They say to me, this, this man F, he told me that he had two chance. One is uh, stay in Syria and die, and the other one is to live a life. And they, they try to start in, in any way is possible. For example, uh, F told to me that uh, he worked for uh, a year in Turkish to collect the money for, uh, for this travel and uh, as soon as, it, as possible for him to go away from Turkish because it's not possible to leave them, he, he wants to, to escape. So he, he takes this chance with, this, with that boat. I just uh, feel good that the man I talk is now maybe some, in some place where uh, he can live. And that's uh, Tommaso Tomaiolo, who I was speaking to from Gallipoli. Kevin Allen on.